It's us again. Welcome back to Cigar Time. Your still very friendly show all about <laughs> premium cigars. And this week, we're honored to have Rami back from General Cigars. Yes, sir. The manufacturer of iconic brands such as, let me see if I can remember them all, Macanudo, <laughs> Partagas, Hoyo, Punch, La Gloria Cabano, CAO. Cohiba. 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 I forgot, almost forgot the, the, <laughs> the big boy. Yes. Cohiba. So today, Rami, what are we smoking here? Uh, we're smoking the uh, CAO uh, Maduro uh, anniversary. You know, uh, it's going to be a hard trick to surpass last week's yeah. Amazon Basin. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's new. This is a classic. Oh, this we've been selling this for, years. for years. Yeah, well, so actually, it just came back out. Yeah, so that's this is true, uh, yeah. uh, this is kind of a uh, kind of from the uh, uh, original CAO from the uh, original mm -hmm. owners of CAO. So it's uh, kind of an old school uh, old school blend. Uh, and uh, just a really nice kind of classic, uh, classic medium-bodied uh, cigar. And uh, as you can see with the old school CAO logo in the old school box. So, uh, so uh, you know, sometimes it's cool to travel back in time and go visit the, uh, you know, go wish back I to the could oldies. Back in time yeah, I, saw, I wish I could too. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we could only, uh, you know, yeah. get that like back to the future thing, go back in the Me time too, machine yeah. and uh, yeah. you know, change a few things. You oh, know I know I mean? what I would change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, I think we all have that. I think we Such all have that. Such a curse. You know, to be so handsome, and people mistake you for famous movie stars all the time. <laughs> want your autograph? I've been I've been running into that all my life. I, 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 I know, I know, I know. I know. It's, it's I knew we had a lot in common. Yeah, yeah. We really <laughs> did. There you go. See, Moose? Yeah, we do have a lot in common. Well, I don't have you the girth. Lot, you get a lot of Gary Cooper, do you? Yeah, a lot of Gary. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the girth I used to have, but <laughs> but other than that, you know. Exactly, Mike. I I just I just you know. That's why. That's why I don't. I don't go out to Beverly Hills anymore. Nah. I mean, it would take me an hour to walk one walk block. Walk down the street. Yeah. Yeah. The people. The, the what do you call them? Yuppies? No, no. What do you call the groupies? Uh, groupies. 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 That's it. Groupies. <laughs> I mean, you know, arts groupies. Mm -hmm. oh, please don't start a fan club of that. Well, it's tough going through life with that. You know, those uh, rugged leading man good looks I you know, have. You that's know, that's definitely it's me. Yeah. yeah. That is tough. That is tough. Yeah. But hey, what are you gonna do? You know, what are you going to do? When I had my mustache, I thought I was Clark Gable. I said, he's been dead for 10 years. You know, I'm still kicking. Did you cross the bear? It is. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's get back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> my fantasy dream just ended. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a golden oldie that we sell tons of. Sure, we sure. Sell yes. it. It's a very popular cigar. We keep the price really down on when you buy a box, really down on it. And uh, Mary, what'd you say the price of the box was? Seventy nine ninety nine. Seventy nine ninety nine. Yeah, but what do they retail? They retail for a lot more. What's the retail eight, price of eight one? Oh nine. Uh, yeah, they're eight oh nine. Yeah, so one hundred and sixty dollars. So yeah, it's one hundred and sixty dollars a box. Are we allowed uh, to sell how much? We we, we already said seventy nine ninety nine. Uh, you know, sometimes <laughs> listen, man. <laughs> once one sneaks through, you know what I mean here and there, and uh, and uh, hey, uh, so basically what we're saying is we're getting a great uh, box press cigar, medium bodied. Uh, you know, kind of a, a you know throwback with a obviously a great name CAO for under uh, four dollars. Yeah, four bucks. Yeah, yeah absolutely, amazing. absolutely. It's so actually, under four dollars well, technically. Technically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, cigar, cigar is bringing you uh, this great cigar for uh, at, at a great box price, and uh, you know, definitely, uh, definitely worth a try if you like a nice box press, medium bodied cigar. Uh, great construction, great draw, and mm -hmm. uh, you this know, is a real Maduro. Too. Yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So. Uh, now what are the ingredients in this? Uh, I, mean, so I this know what they are. Yeah, so obviously the uh, the uh, wrapper uh, the wrapper's uh, self-explanatory, but it's also uh, Ecuador Sumatra binder and Nicaraguan Dominican filler. So uh, so really uh, just again is keep using it. Is it a um, Connecticut broadleaf? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, sure. yes. Yeah. I mean so Connecticut Connecticut yes, broadleaf. Yes, yeah. true Connecticut broadleaf. They yes. have the real Connecticut stuff. Yes. So, uh, so I think for most people. I didn't mean to interrupt. No. You. Uh, yeah. I'll try again. All right. <laughs> mean to interrupt you, but. I think most people don't realize that the Connecticut tobacco just isn't grown in Connecticut. Right. It's alleged, and I kind of buy into it, that the the best Connecticut tobacco comes from Connecticut. Yes. But yes. it grows. Connecticut actually grows right down the south of the United States and into Central America. Yes. They they grow strains, especially Ecuador. So yes. Uh, but but the real Connecticut, which General probably has the largest fields of. Yeah, and uh, also uh, the. Uh, the Connecticut tobacco that comes from Connecticut is also the most expensive. So yes, it is. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. So when you're getting uh, 
a cigar like this at, at this tremendous value, you know, that's a that's pretty nice. Uh, that's pretty nifty. So and who can complain about that? Price does matter. It certainly does. <laughs> it, it does. does. <laughs> no, price matters. Absolutely. Oh, Just not in a rating. You know, <laughs> it's not in a rating. <laughs> you know, it's funny when you go out uh, when when I go out and uh, uh, see people and you know we do events and things and I tell people, hey, check this out. You get you know and and the prices and people tell me, ah, oh, you know, I don't care about price. You know what? I think me as a as a consumer, you know, I care about price. You know, I think price is always price is always important. You know, because look, if you get something great at a great price, you yeah. feel good about your purchase. You know, yeah. and and cigars are. Obviously, something that gives people pleasure, and uh, and if you can get pleasure for less, who's going <laughs> to complain, right? Exactly. You know, I, I always like when people say, "Well, if you have to ask the price, you shouldn't buy it." Yeah. Oh, that's such <laughs> BS. It's ridiculous. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Uh, yeah. I like value. So exactly. call me cheap. Call me whatever. Frugal. I like value. Frugal. 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 There's a difference between yes. cheap and frugal. No, there's not. Yes, there is. <laughs> Absolutely. The same word. Is. It's spelled differently. That's it. <laughs> a guy who scrapes the cheese off the top of the veal parmesan to put it on tomorrow's hamburger is cheap. <laughs> a guy that comes in with a coupon to get 10 bucks off on the meal is frugal. There's a difference. But it's the same thing. No, it is not the same thing. We've had this okay. argument for how many years now? <laughs> Almost 20. Unbelievable. <laughs> And I believe if you look up the word cheap in the dictionary and you look up the word frugal in the dictionary, there are two different meanings. They aren't categorized as, as the same. They s it says C also. No, I think, <laughs> I think I, now you've got me going. I'm going to actually, I've never looked it up. <laughs> I'm going to look up. And if I'm wrong, I will apologize. Um, but that is unlikely to happen. Unlikely to happen. Want to bet on it? No. I won't <laughs> bet, on, bet with you at all anymore. You did win one. Once. Of course, I tossed you. I yeah, tossed yeah. It okay. I still have the five dollar bill <laughs> the tacked last up one? in my office. I know it's starting to fade from the cigar smoke. But I, <laughs> I actually have heard you say that you don't want to bet art anymore. No, never. You actually He'll don't. Never yeah, bet. never. Yeah, that, never again. That, that's just. Uh, He's won too many. Yeah. I could I could own my house if I would have not oh, bet him. Not quite that. <laughs> but yeah, I used to pull these obscure names from old Philly players, mm -hmm. and I would lay them on him. He said, "Nah, doesn't exist." I say, "Oh yeah, they do." I said, I don't want to take your money, but if you force me, I will. I think Mike went to Wikipedia and created a Wikipedia page for those people. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, soon enough. So, so would you say between you and John, you have, I would say in, out of everybody <coughs> I know, that you two have some of the most amazing old baseball knowledge I've ever Cause we're old. Well, no, but I mean, no, but, I, but he but didn't want to go there. We actually saw them play. Yeah, but that's that's pretty amazing. I mean, I, I mean yeah. to, to go. Yeah, but you go beyond the the known players. You go deep into the you go deep into the archive. I mean, like yeah. some some people who are not so well known and and uh, so. And it's sad. Recently, uh, a, uh, about six weeks ago, a customer in our cold marsh store who was a great, great guy. and I, we, He used to try to trick me on trivia all the time, and we had great conversations when I would visit that store. And even uh, he would send me, inst uh, what do you call it, the instant message on Facebook, and he'd say, blah, 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 blah. And I'd answer <laughs> real fast. And he was always amazed, because he was just, he just passed, sadly passed away recently. You were always gonna be thinking about you. We called him Yui, and he was a, just a great, great, Great guy and a nice cigar smoker, but more than a cigar smoker, he was a really decent family man and decent human being. So, a, a shout out to heaven, where I'm sure he's residing right now, and mm -hmm. he'll always be missed by us. Yeah. And, and his friends at Cigar Cigars, and of course, obviously his family and his, and his outside smoking uh, of smoking friends. So yeah. So uh, th he was just a wonderful, wonderful human being, and we all miss him. You know, it, it's amazing. Uh, Bringing up your, what you're saying, uh, you know, in uh, it's amazing how smoking these uh, cigars, not thank you. Yes, no. I didn't want to say the word. Thank no, you. I know you know. Uh, uh, you know how many really will. great people you meet. Oh, you know, yeah. so yeah. so it's so uh, you know in a given day, especially in a, uh, you know, again uh, repeating from uh, uh, the previous episode of uh, 25 years of cigar cigar. How many great yeah. people you must have met in this yeah. great. A uh, lot. In this people. awesome uh, journey of 25 years. And I mean sadly, sadly, being around so long, 
I've seen a number of the old timers in the industry passing away. Yeah. And, you know, no better example, although he's certainly been gone for a long time now, is the gentleman who started up General Cigars, yeah. you know, Edgar yeah. Coleman. And Edgar Coleman was not only a classy, classy man, he was really, really dedicated to the leaf. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean uh, it, the company lost something when, when he passed on. I mean, it, it, sure. it, it, it's, and you know, you see the old timers like, you know, Mr. Fuente and, and Mr. Padron who passed on, Mr. Newman from J.C. Newman. I mean, it, it makes you, one, it makes you feel older. Sure. You're still around and now you're getting old. And, and but it just shows you the industry is not some Johnny come lately industry. This industry has a, a rich heritage. I mean, this country was founded on tobacco. That's sure. True. I mean, to, to all those naysayers out there and all those government people that want to take away the pleasure that, that men and women have with smoking a premium cigar. I mean, it, it's, it's such a travesty. I mean, and, and then they run the health issue against you. And it, all those guys died. I know. In their 80s oh, and 90s. 80s and 90s. Yeah, and they Stanford Newman was 92. Exactly. Yeah, and he died at his desk smoking a big, fat, dark cigar. <laughs> I mean, I... There's uh, worse ways to go. Yeah, there yeah, are worse ways, ways to, go. to go. I mean, I don't know anybody in our industry, and I've known a lot of people in our industry, who has, has gotten any kind of cancer, lung cancer, throat cancer, Nobody. lip, tongue, whatever, not to put a downer on the show, right. but th that's, that's hokum. Yeah, it is. That's okay. Now I could even make the argument. And I think we've said this a few times in the past years, that smoking a cigar with friends, or 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 just by yourself, is a time to relax and reflect sure. and think. I mean, Absolutely. you know, some of you like to have a, a, a nice a nice. A drink with a cigar, <laughs> but not naming Moose. <laughs> yeah, you know. Moose knows nothing about that. No, just <laughs> nothing about yeah, alcohol. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. just Jack down there on the corner. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it just—it's a pleasant way to spend an sure. hour or two, and and that's why you know we try to have comfortable lounges where you yeah. can sit and smoke and enjoy yourself, and uh, you know, give us a break, government. I mean, it, yeah, it's it, it just. You know, take your take your hands out of our industry. Take your hands off a product that we all, you know, I mean, to us, it's our living. But to all of us, we were all enjoying cigars before it was our living. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And, and I hope in the next generations to come that they'll be still enjoying cigars. And this is a good time to be a cigar consumer. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, those of us who lived through the boom, and and saw that you know anything that looked like a piece of tobacco would sell for any price and shame to say but there was a lot of poor product during those years sure and now for the last 20 odd years it's been nothing but the competition forces you as a manufacturer to make higher quality value price cigars yeah and it's just a good time to be a consumer the prices if you adjust for inflation are cheaper than they were 20 years ago yeah and, and, and I always tell people, although I haven't said it recently, when you think, what's a milkshake sell for anymore? Uh, five, six dollars. Okay. So I think, is that all? They're still just... I mean, I guess <laughs> that's... I bought one in forever. I'm a value shopper, so where I okay. am, five, six dollars. <laughs> right, well, yeah. the kind that they actually put the ice cream in and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say, let's say a milkshake is six dollars. Well, you can buy plenty of cigars for six dollars. Yeah. You know, it's moved up a little bit, seven, eight dollars. But when you think about it, you can enjoy a cigar, you can spend an hour enjoying it, and, and an hour enjoying yourself with <coughs> others, and you drink a milkshake, not only is it 16,000 calories, <laughs> uh, how long does it take you to drink a milkshake? Yeah. There's no calories in these. No. Yeah. That's true. It's an all natural product. Yeah, absolutely. So you sure. smoke a, you, you, you drink a milkshake for what, 10, 15 minutes at the most? Yeah. And then if you that. go out feeling stuffed, and you, th and you say to yourself, what did I just do? Yeah. Where smoking a cigar, you know, you enjoy it. You yeah. relax. It takes your stress away. I always, I always make the argument that a, an a, enjoying a cigar is a life extender. Oh, I agree. Oh, I, I agree. get into some pretty violent arguments with people yeah. sometimes. Because when you're not stressed out, stress is what kills us all. Agreed. It contributes to most diseases, you know, most heart attacks, things that, that kill us all in the, in the end anyway. But I think I think smoking cigars extends your life. Yeah, less stress. Yeah, so uh, I just wish that people 
you know, would go out and send the message that smoking, in a lot of cases, an occasional cigar, in some cases more, like we smoke a lot more, it's not gonna, it's not gonna take minutes off your life. In, in contrast, I think it really adds to your life. And there's no, repeat, no scientific evidence that, that shows premium cigars cause anything that's, that's bad for you, other than your breath and maybe your clothes do smell yeah. a little bit, but that's not gonna shorten your life. You know, get a washing machine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> or don't eat garlic. Don't eat garlic yeah. or onions. <laughs> I like them both. But getting back to the cigar. <laughs> and this is less money than a milkshake if you buy it by the box. Sure. Yeah, well, way less. You can get two milkshakes for, for mm -hmm. and get 32,000 calories. Yeah. <coughs> and brain freeze. And brain freezes, right. <laughs> and brain freezes, and your belly gets bigger and bigger and bigger. They're both guilty pleasures, though. Yes. They are guilty pleasures. But I think a milkshake will take more off your life. Yes, than agreed. A cigar will. Agreed. I agreed. mean, I know that's give a, you cholesterol. Yeah, it's not cholesterol. not the greatest argument in the world. No, but but yeah, yeah. Yeah. well, well, you know, to what you're saying, I mean, think about it. When you're smoking cigar, you're you're in a lounge. You're with, uh, you know, you're with your friends. You're with, you know, having Even a good time. Sitting on your front porch. Yeah, just anytime. I mean, yeah. by yourself or you know, the, you know, good conversation, a nice drink, this and that. That's a that's a stress reliever. You know, that's uh, that's something that. Uh, you know, you're all wound up from your day, whatever, you know, your dog ran away, the, you came home, the water heater broke and it leaked all over the basement. Your wife's cheating on you. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sit all, the, <laughs> all, all the Sit trials of life. A of <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, if you don't have a wife, it's a game cheat on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, is, yeah. that is true, that is true. You light up a cigar, and hey, for under $10, <laughs> hey, for, for, for an hour, hour and a half, you, your troubles run away. That's you know, true. not a bad, not a bad, uh, you know, not a bad exchange. And there's a lot of truth to that. There, absolutely, to absolutely. That. I also find too when you walk into a place like a lounge. Yeah. And you don't know anybody. Oh, yeah. you're immediately uh, a friend. Before yeah. you walk out of there, you've met four or five new friends. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Because you all have something in common. Absolutely. Yeah. It's the cigar. Yeah. Why, don't, why don't we give our first review of the cigar? Moose, go ahead and start it out. Since you're hitting it pretty good there. Um, yeah. I enjoy this. It's a Maduro. It's one of my favorite cigars. So it's a little sweet, but uh, I'd say it's a um, solid medium body cigar. It's very tasty. Yeah. I'm enjoying mm -hmm. it. Rob? I also get the sweetness. I'm also getting a cocoa taste yeah. from the cigar. Yeah, yeah, it's a real Maduro. So, yeah, yeah, it's very tasty. Marianne? I'm getting no sweetness whatsoever. It's a solid medium, and You're so not getting the sweetness of it? No. Really? I, I find this a mild cigar. I don't find this medium at all. Let me see some. <laughs> Is that the right <laughs> cigar? Oh, a little, a little slot there. They drain the sweetness out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't back that up. This is a solid Maduro. Yeah. I mean, Here's it's here it is. It's, she's such a sweet person. It really has to be sweet. It really has to be sweet. She took all the sugar out of it. That was, that that was good only when I'm sitting in the room. Yeah, yeah. That was good news. Remember, my family was in politics. That's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Sports reporting and politics. Yep, 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 yep. But... I, I agree with it's, it's a solid medium. I'm picking up the sweet taste of the Maduro clearly, yeah. and and for the prices we sell them for, it's uh, <laughs> one hell of a bargain. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, we I have like a whole line of these. The um, the Cameroon. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are all very reasonably priced. And the Cameroon is real Cameroon. Real Cameroon. So uh, so again another another cool uh, cool thing about these uh, uh, old CAOs is uh, you know real. Uh, Real broadleaf, real Cameroon, real Connecticut broadleaf, real Cameroon, and uh, you know, uh, bang for the buck, and uh, you know, both box press, uh, great cigars, and uh, they're easy to hold. You know, uh, they're uh, you know, and also, I'm a sucker for vintage, and I do like the old, you yes, know, the old I, logo, yeah. and uh, yeah. you know, kind of. They were shape. like that 20 years. Yes, ago. yes, yeah. yeah, and they look exactly the same, package the same, and uh, and nothing's really changed about them. So. Uh, Sometimes worth going back and visiting. There's a ton of great new stuff out there. Uh, from uh, you know, as Art said, there's a lot of great. Uh, it's a great time to be a cigar smoker yeah, right now because there's so many things at s at great prices to try, smoke, and and really, it's and also it's a smorgasbord. The yeah. manufacturers are also stepping up with yeah using using unusual blends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. experimenting yeah. with a lot yeah. of stuff. Yeah, yes. it's really exciting. And but sometimes Some the old traditional yeah. stuff yeah. Yeah. is still where it's at. Yeah. yeah. So like, like sometimes like you know it's like it's kind of like food today. Uh, everything's like so tricky and this and that, and it's exciting. 
And sometimes you just want to play the like uh, meatloaf and mashed potatoes, and it yeah. just it just it tastes good. You know what sometimes I mean? Like sometimes you yeah. just need a good exactly. steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You just need a steak and a potato, and it just makes. See you now know. I'm hungry. Yeah, very. Yeah. <laughs> we'll eat soon. Yeah. We'll <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is this is a tremendous cigar. Mm. It is. It's a it's a meaty cigar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I you think know? sometimes people overlook it because they've seen it around for years. Yeah, because yeah. it's been around a long time. And it's a Maduro. Not everybody's into Maduro. Yeah. And I think a l there's a misconception out there that mm -hmm. a dark mm -hmm. cigar is too strong. And anything further from the truth. I mean, a really really good Maduro is is tasty. Oh uh, yeah, very. Most people who are in this industry prefer Maduro uh -huh. cigars because it has more taste. Yeah. Right. So, uh, like I said, I think this is a mild cigar. I yeah. Mild, a little it's mild a, plus. A, I'd say I the lighter it, side of medium. Yeah, I don't yeah. see medium at all from this cigar. I'm talking too much. And it's you know, it's a dark <laughs> cigar, and people are afraid, like you were saying, to try a Maduro because they think it's too strong. But if you're going to try one, try this cigar because it's not full bodied at all. Yeah, and so. uh, the other cool thing about this cigar too is like you know with right now everyone you know everyone's on this Nicaragua kick. This is kind of like OG Nicaragua. I mean this is this is Nicaragua. You know what I mean? This is yeah. you know yeah. these have been made in Nicaragua forever. You yeah. know so yeah. before yeah. you know Nicaragua was all the all the rage. This, these they were made. made all yeah, the yeah, yeah, these, yeah. These were made in Nicaragua. Yeah. So th so if you kind of want to go back to like you know old school Nicaraguan, this is this is this is ki this is kind of it. So uh, and uh, with. Uh, the the uh, value uh, they have these uh, boxes at, it's a pretty pretty easy step to take, you know, to, yeah. to grab one of these under boxes. Under $4? Yeah, I would absolutely. Under $4 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. say so. Absolutely. And between this and the Cameroon, uh, you know, I think I think you have two great, you know, two <coughs> great choices. Or, you know, if you're feeling, feeling uh, you know, you got a good paycheck this week, grab two boxes. Why not? <laughs> you know, last week we smoked, <laughs> we smoked the Amazon Basin, which was a boffo cigar. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that was, mm -hmm. wow. But I got to tell you something. For forty percent of the cost of an you know an Amazon basin, which mm -hmm. is certainly worth the ten dollars for sure. I mean, this at four dollars by the box. I mean, it's an incredible value. Yeah, an incredible sure. smoke for Absolutely. four dollars. Sure. Wow. And uh, I don't think. And feel free to disagree. I don't think any. Uh, just because it's a, it's a older older cigar or it's been around a long time. The, the construction hasn't suffered. The blend hasn't suffered. The you know, burns well, draws well. You know, again, I'm, kept the quality I'm supposed high. to you know, I'm supposed yeah. to say these things, but <laughs> feel free to disagree. I mean, no, you know, no, 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 can't. It. Yeah, I can't <laughs> recall the last time I smoked a cigar from your company, General mm -hmm. Cigars, where I had any draw problems mm -hmm. or burn problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's that's a testimony to the care that goes into the manufacturing. Sure. I mean, they have large facilities in the Dominican Republic and Nicaragua, and obviously Honduras as well. And and the care that goes in, like I say, to the to construction is is first class mm -hmm. and then some. Yeah. I mean, think about it. We sometimes we we sometimes take these old brands for granted. Mm -hmm. and, and and when you realize, when when just I still get a kick out of looking at even Macanudo. Which is usually everybody's first cigar. It's mm -hmm. a nice, pleasant, mild cigar. It's the Budweiser of cigars. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. the Budweiser of cigars. Absolutely. And you and you look at those wrappers, those rich Connecticut wrappers, just on the regular everyday Macanudo. I'm not talking about the gold. I'm not talking about the higher You're end. Talking Macanudo. the cafe, yeah. I'm just talking about the cafe. When you look at the sheen on those wrappers, and you know where they came from, and they're so consistent in, the, in their in their draw, and their burn, their taste. I mean, again. I don't think enough credit goes to your company for the quality of the product that they make. Uh, just one man's opinion. You know, the the big thing is is uh, you know is uh, you know with what we do with our you know our older brands is is uh, we do a really incredible job with consistency, and that's actually a very tough to keep oh, to keep yeah to keep the a blends? blend and quality oh God, yes. uh, consistent is a very is a very yes, difficult yes. task. Uh, you know, I don't think anybody. Anybody in the world wants that job of keeping <laughs> consistency because, <laughs> listen, you tweak one little thing and yeah, everybody it'll be noticed. Yeah, it'll be noticed. Yeah, it'll be yeah. Noticed. yeah. It'll so, be uh, so, so that is a great observation. I mean, it is that is uh, one of the toughest things to do on a large scale. Yeah, we we, to keep we tend to overlook it. We tend to yeah. take it for granted. Yeah, and, and we shouldn't take it for granted because yeah. with so many brands popping up here and going away there, I mean, you know, sometimes the tried and true, mm -hmm. the old reliable. Yeah, and 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 value price, especially the way we sell them. 
I mean, you can't just take it for granted. Sure. So, you know, go back to the future, so to sure. speak, <laughs> and sure. enjoy something that really has a great taste. Yeah. Burns, you're never going to get a plugged one, you're never going to get one that burns down the side if you light it correctly. Yeah, <laughs> and if you're not outside in the twin. Usually it's user error when <laughs> yeah. things go bad, and, and especially your cigars because of the quality. And I mean, it is, to me, it's, it's amazing. And you can go back to the foundation, kind of the, not the foundation, the foundation, found, but like the beginnings of Nicaraguan, you know what I mean? This is kind of the beginnings yeah. of Nicaraguan, you know, see kind of where yeah. where it started, you know, and, and yeah, you, you were, know. Yeah, you were, you were making Nicaraguan cigars before anybody really knew that the quality that came out of Nicaragua. Sure. You had to be really, like me, an old timer, to remember the quality of cigars that were coming out of Nicaragua in the late 60s and early 70s were spectacular. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, the first Sandinista revolution kind of killed that off. And, it, and it's only been the last 15 or 20 years that Nicaragua has made a remarkable comeback sure. and is now the hot cigar. It's so the best speak. tobacco out there. It's the better than cigar. Cuban, better, th better than anything oh, right now. Oh, it blows the Cubans out of the water. Absolutely. When people smoke real Cubans, real Cubans, not like most of the phony stuff in this country, mm -hmm. when you smoke real Cuban, you're lucky if you can draw through half the box. Sure. And you're lucky if you enjoy, really enjoy the taste, even some of the higher end models. I mean, it's a disgrace. I mean, I used to go to Cuba all the time and I used to have the finest of the finest hand picked for me and I'd have to lay them down for three or four years to get them to really meld and taste good. Well speaking of tasting good I think it's time for us to do <laughs> our, yeah. we get, we get long winded time. here and we for, we, time to give our final review and number on it. I give it a 925. All right. Oh, me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. I'm, I'm yeah. short and sweet um, here. It's, it's very consistent. It's stayed the same so far from the beginning to where I am right now. It's about half. It's sweet. It's chocolate to me. It's chocolatey. And on the mild plus side, um, I give it a 9.5. I love this cigar. I really do. Yeah, there you go. Marianne? Uh, for me, it's just under medium. I'm getting savory instead of sweet. Who knows? Really? I am. Wow. Um, but I think it's a great solid cigar, and it is very consistent and burns very well. Your number? I know you like it. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> nine. A nine? Nine. Okay. Yeah, no accounting for taste. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with a nine. That's a great number. No, nine's a good That's number. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just having fun at her expense. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I, I, again, I agree. I agree more with the sweetness side of the tracks here than the savory side. And I, I tend to agree with you, it's on the slightly lighter side of mild. I'm going to give it a 9.52 because at under $4, that does matter as far as I'm concerned. Just want to remind you, our store at Edison Furlong Road in 611 in Doylestown uh, should be open right around now or close to it. Our two stores in Sarasota, Florida, same thing. So again, we want to thank you as the weather's starting to get a little chilly. Don't forget, come hang out in our lounges, relax. We've got the Wi-Fi, the coffee, the television. We've got it, everything. Yeah. And a bunch of great people inside our lounges. Absolutely. So don't forget our Absolutely. Saturday night show at 8 o'clock. We want to remind you that we appreciate your business, and thank you, and we'll see you next week. Ciao bye for, bye now, for now. See you. Bye, everybody.